Okay, my name is Josette Urso. I'm here at Westbeth um, at the gallery as part of Hot Spots. Um, and I'm showing, um, I'm having an opportunity to show um, new paintings and drawings. Um, the work that I'm showing, um, it's actually still all wet. Oh, the paintings are, are all brand new. Um, I'm showing pieces that I make, um, oil paintings um, that are based on observation and but they're very abstract, obviously. I, I, um, I, my studio is in Brooklyn, and I have um, a, a wide open Brooklyn view. And so I'm really, I'm looking out the window while I'm making my paintings, but I'm also um, looking in the studio. I, I make setups, I build objects, I, I'm hanging things in the window. So I'm actually interested in um, the near and the far. So these are two more drawings. Um, also looking in my studio, the top drawing, I'm looking actually across my, my, my work table at a painting on the wall. And in this drawing, I'm looking from the inside outside out a window. Um, but this is the first drawing that I, I made with um, watercolor. And normally I use the, the Japanese brush pen, which is a very fluid line. Um, in, before I started using the, the Japanese brush pen, I used a, the old crow quill pen where you dip it in the ink and you bring it back. And something about that lag, there's like, there's like that, that, that stopping and starting that kind of always got in the way. And I, I, I always thought that might happen with a brush, but I was really surprised that the brush holds color for a really long time. And it, was, I, it felt very fluid and I kind of actually really liked when the brush became depleted from the, with the watercolor and the line got softer. Um, so this is a brand, this is a new direction to draw with watercolor. I've been interested in drawing with color. And um, so anyway, to have the chance to show the drawings alongside the paintings, I think it maybe clarifies or it, it, it really explains the process. All of the paintings are, are um, I work very intuitively, so all of the paintings, like I say, are based on observation, but I take a very playful, intuitive approach. Um, I, I, I thrive on being really lost, and I think that's why I, I work from the natural world. Um, when I'm in New York, it's obviously the city, um, because it, it's, I, I never quite know, I never quite understand it, and I really thrive on that. Um, taking a journey with the painting, starting intuitively, trying to absorb the sense of place, looking off in every direction, having no preconceived ideas. Um, and in this particular exhibition, it's really, it was really, um, I was fortunate to have the opportunity to, to show my drawings alongside the paintings, because I think the drawings really do help explain my process. Um, the drawing over here, for instance, is a drawing um, where you can kind of see the things that I'm looking at in my studio. I have a giant um, nest of man-made objects and nature-based objects and, um, and a lot of plants. And um, so I'm looking inside and outside simultaneously. Um, the drawings 
really help the painting process. I don't make drawings as preparatory works or as sketches for paintings, but when I spend time drawing, um, that intensity of being so present and so in the moment um, really helps the paintings. It's like the intensity of, of, of not letting myself get into any kind of rote mode, like that kind of intense engagement and being as present and of the moment as possible. It's amazing how much freer I am with painting after I spend time making drawings. Drawings, there's something really amazing about drawing. It's like that you have this command over the surface and like the space just really opens up and then it closes. And um, But as soon as I, I find that I'm getting into any kind of knowing, I change my place on the page and I keep bouncing all over the page and somehow I'm always surprised that it all adds up. Um, So um, thank you so much for seeing the show. Um, I, hope you'll, I hope you'll see the show actually, but thank you for the video tape. Um, thank you so much.